I'm thinking of buying this CD. Really? Mm -hmm. Super cool, right? Oh, you feel him in the music, don't you? Oh, I feel something. <laughs> Hi, Kylene. We were hoping to have a chat to Pastor Rob Shand. Oh, no, sorry. You have to book months ahead. Pastor Rob's super busy. Busiest man in the world. <laughs> About the nicest. Well, that's super disappointing. Oh, with you, excuse me. Oh, what is it about the pious that makes you just want to smash him in the face? Uh, Pastor Rob. That was a short scene with our guest in studio today, Lisa Marie Shaw. Lisa, thank you so much for joining us in studio today for Friday's Offbeat. Thank you for having me. Of course. So I guess I'll start off by asking you, Lisa, um, we, saw, we saw a short scene there from your appearance. Sure. <laughs> yeah. Pardon the pun. Pardon the pun. <laughs> yes, I didn't mean to. Crack them all tonight, darling. <laughs> we, we saw a short scene of your appearance there in Jack Irish. Yes. What was it like to... Uh, First of all, start telling us how you landed the role in Jack Irish and how you found working with Guy Pearce on set there. All right, well, as per usual, I got an audition in my uh, inbox, but it was actually for um, the CW's The Vampire Diaries. Uh, so oh, I flew up to Sydney. Yeah. yeah, I was really excited and big fan of the show, so I was super oh, excited. Wow. I yeah. went up to audition for that um, with Nikki Barrett Casting. I was in there, I was doing my, my bits and pieces that I do, and she was like, what are you doing tomorrow? And I'm like, oh, you know, whatever. She's like, oh, well, I've got another program that I'm auditioning. Um, I'll be down in Melbourne. Are you free? And I'm like, okay, yeah, sure. So the next day in Melbourne, I went in and I got the script and I was like, oh, okay, this is like really fun, lots of energy. So I went in and I did my piece for that and then I ended up booking it. So I got all of this. I got an Australian show from a US audition. <laughs> <laughs> That's crazy That's awesome. how it works that way sometimes. Yeah. Really cool. So you did land the role, of course, in, in that Jack Irish. What was a day like on set working with um, Guy Pearce? So we um, shot in Footscray um, at a local school there. Um, and then, um, so my scene set in the church. So um, when we arrived there, it was very, um, it was a very cold day. Everyone was rugged up. And then um, I went over and I got to meet Guy and Claudia and Marcus. And um, Guy was very cool. He's a very cool mm. cat, very suave He was a nice man. guy. And yes, he was very nice. Very <laughs> That's welcoming. what you want though, better to have yeah. them nice and calm and oh. intimidating, like, mm, look at you, I'm really No, sure. definitely. They were all super welcoming. Um, and my scene was, you know, I had so much energy from my side, so we were really playing on having, like, opposite tones of energy. And um, when we went through, like, the, the blocking and we were going for sound rehearsals and everything, um, Guy walked up to me and he was like, perfect. <laughs> And then walked off. Oh, that's so special. It was so special, but we hadn't shot yet. And oh, I'm like, oh, no. oh, how do I do that again? Oh, I um, it. <laughs> I'm like, don't think about it too much. Just do it. Just do it. So then we shot it, and it was awesome. And then I was super happy with the result. It, it, and it, it shows there from what you've been able to do on uh, on that short scene that you got. And before we kind of led away from Jack Irish, you've also known from doing a lot of other stuff, um, of course, being a, a great aspiring actress, uh, getting out there, which is what we love to see. You. Um, you also starred a little bit on Neighbours as well, of yes. course, playing Amber's uh, nemesis. Yes. What was the difference, do you think, working on Neighbours as opposed to Jack Irish, do you think? Um, Neighbours is a really high turnover show, so obviously um, they have you know episodes five nights a week as mm. opposed to one night a week, so you're shooting a lot quicker. Um, you're often shooting with multiple multiple cameras as opposed to one um, and I would say they're a little bit um, more free and open to like story interpretation and um, where you want to go with your character because I guess there's so much going on in every episode you're a little bit more free mm. with that whereas Jack Irish it was very um, everything was set it was very specific um, and then I guess the tones of the show you know Jack's very gritty and cold colors and that kind of stuff whereas Neighbours is lots of bright summery kind of feels. Mm. Just on the topic of Nemesis, <laughs> I want to ask you a few questions about Tag. Yes. This is a short film that you did last year? Uh, few years ago yeah. now? I think it might have been two years. Few years ago now. Okay. Mm -hmm. And it, you played the evil one. I think we have a clip if we can just pop it up quickly yeah. so we can yes. get some context. Guess who? These star-crossed lovers must keep their passion secret. Passion? You're interrupting my flow. Must keep their passion a secret. Who knows what will happen after the bell rings? One thing's for sure. It'll be a tragedy if a bear finds out. Do it. 
you guys, watch Tagged because it is such a good short film. So Tagged is a cyberbully um, short film. Yes. So I wanted to ask, do you know where the idea for Tagged came from? So obviously um, cyberbullying is like a, a really big problem in today's society. So that was um, delivered by ACMA, part of the government, um, brought that together. Um, and then they met up with Chris Benz, our director, and then they spoke with Mulliners, the casting house, and then we just got auditions underway mm -hmm. um, and I straight off the bat was auditioning for um, Kate I didn't see any of the other roles yeah um, and then they had um, a few callbacks but I was cast from the first audition so I didn't know ever, like there was three or four cast members who actually knew before me that oh, I even really? had the role because they had gone to the callbacks yeah. oh wow but I had just auditioned and thought I didn't get it <laughs> left it oh, you know no. off I go you so. can never tell with these sorts of things I never. guess the whole time <laughs> so a few questions I wanted to ask so first with the character so you were the villain yeah. in this. Did you struggle to connect with the kind of evil um, context of your character? I do feel it's like quite opposite to me, <laughs> but obviously it's you're lovely. About, <laughs> no, it's about finding, um, I guess, who she is as a person. You know, mm. even bad people have feelings and emotions and and choices and all these kind of things. So it's about. Um, I guess one of the producers um, on Tagged spoke to me about why they picked me and one of the reasons was that I could have been anyone. I could have been the girl in your English class. I could have been yeah. the girl's who hair you always liked when she walked down the hall. Yeah. I could have been your neighbour's kid's best friend. Anyone. Well, I guess something interesting about this short film is that the bully actually becomes the bullied. So you become the victim in the end. We end up sympathising with you, yeah. which I think is a really interesting spin on the story because that that might not usually be how it normally happens yes what advice do you have for people now people. who are getting bullied or being bullied just quickly um i think if you can't speak up for yourself please know that you have you know friends and family around you who you can speak to them and then they can talk to someone on your behalf yeah yep. that's great advice oh well. Lisa, thank you so much for coming into studio today. <laughs> Guys, please watch, um, go to YouTube or go online, watch Tagged and Lisa's short scene in Jack Irish. You can find Lisa online. We'll be right back with a short uh, band clip from Happy Face Killers. This Thanks. is uh, your Friday team, Darcy and Tara. It's <laughs> offbeat.